it was my father who encouraged me to go into computer science. I've always loved math. And when I was at school, I figured I would become a math teacher. My parents are both teachers and they were inspiring role models. But when I got to university, I did take math, but I also took the computer science option. A combination of the computer courses at school and the work terms that I did while I was at school gave me a really good feel for what it was all about. I decided it was a good choice for me and I've never looked back. I enjoy creating things with engineering technology and I hope my work can make people's lives better. I was always good at STEM and I loved maths and problem solving. I was working in healthcare and I actually realized that I was way more energized by solving problems with technology than I was by solving problems in um, healthcare through medicine. It was just something that energized me and felt right to me. Building things and solving problems always gave me an adrenaline rush. And that's when I realized this is a field I need to be in. And I'm so glad I took that decision back then. I've always been really interested in finding out how things work and why things are done in a certain way. So when I was growing up and heard about engineering as a career option, I felt really inspired to continue on that journey of curiosity. And what I've loved is being able to solve problems that involve people and hopefully make their lives a little bit better. Being a woman in engineering comes with its challenges. And the biggest one for me is having the sense of belonging. Uh, the way I overcame it is joining and leading a group of employees representing women and non-binary engineers. Uh, that really helped me find my roots and uh, having the support system I need. I think finding opportunities and then negotiating for those opportunities and promotions was one challenge. But what I really did was upskilling means doing hands-on learning, finding mentors who I could open up my aspirations about, and networking, networking hard. When I'm the only woman in a group discussion, sometimes I'm lack of confidence. And then I will tell myself that I may have a very unique perspective, which is valuable for the conversation. So I should speak out bravely. I think one of the most common challenge that every woman in engineering face is you know, work-life integration. And even I do. How I navigated this problem is basically deliberately delegating the tasks or the course which don't excite me. And seeking help when I need it and not trying to be a superwoman in every aspect of or every task that I, at hand. Like a lot of other women in engineering, I often find myself to be the only woman in the room. And that can be quite intimidating, but I never let that stop me from expressing what's right, whether it's what's right for the team, the customer, or the company. And that drive to do the right thing has been invaluable in a lot of situations where I otherwise would have been unsure. And it's given me the confidence to get me to where I am today. Don't let the hard problems or the people around you that talk like they know everything intimidate you. Lean in, work hard, believe in yourself, and you really can learn and do anything. Engineering is interesting. You can have a great sense of achievement in this industry. Believe in yourself, you can make it. There are so many different fields of study and so many directions that you can choose to take your career. I'd say go for it 100%. It's been the best decision I've made. We live in a really exciting time where there's a lot of innovation and a lot of advancement in technology, which means I'm always learning and it's really exciting not knowing what's coming next even though it's daunting, but it means there are always going to be opportunities and possibilities. If you really want to enjoy what you do, you have to find something that you're both good at and you love. And if you're not sure whether you're good at something or you're not sure if you love it, that's okay, just try it. Because if it turns out that you don't, you get to try something else and that's pretty cool too. You don't need to know all the answers up front. We've come a long way in terms of, uh, you know, breaking gender stereotypes. And so I'd say, uh, just think no more and dive right in. Innovation and creativity, that is the future. And it is at the heart of engineering. So just go for it. It is possible. It is definitely possible. History has proven it. And we are going to make history for the future generation. Don't let anyone or any fears stop you. You can do it. You are smart and brave. And we believe in you.